Hey guys, it's me. Happy Friday. Today is actually Thursday. I thought I would go ahead and get my video done. I have so many things to show you and I'm not expecting anything big after today. So, I've kind of gotten excited about this video because there are some really good things in here that I got this week and then there's some other things that have excited me this week that, you know, we already probably have. First of all, Guess who got a sleeping glow? <laughs> John. He just got this yesterday. Yesterday. I ordered it for him because every morning he complains about his neck hurting. And I have tried in the past to get him to try my pillow, but he always feels bad because he's taking my pillow. And the extra one that I had, my mom sleeps on. So I, what, what I was doing is in the morning, I wake up really early. This morning I slept kind of late. If I sleep until daylight, it's late for me. I love to get up early. Just, I feel like it's almost like an extra day you get when you get up that early. But this morning I got up a little bit later. But usually what happens is I wake up and I look over at him and he has his face and head like smushed in a pillow and his pillows are like, he has like three of them. They're like all over the place and you can tell that he is uncomfortable. So what I was doing, because I can't sleep without mine, period, end of story. I would have loved to let him try it, but I cannot sleep without my pillow. And I guess what I'm gonna have to do is when I go out of town from now on, I have to take it with me. I didn't even think about that. I was letting him use mine in the mornings when I would get up. And so he finally said, okay, I want one. He slept on it last night. I woke up and there he was still on it. I couldn't believe it. And he said that he liked it. He was worried that it wasn't gonna be soft enough, but I told him these sides right here are so soft. It's not like those pillows that you have probably tried, like I have tried. I don't I don't even know any names of ones, but you know what I mean, like the, the foam pillows. It's not hard as a rock. And I was, last night I was like a true commercial. I was showing him how to sleep on it, like what was so good about it. And to me, just without a doubt, I know a lot of people like it because when they sleep on their back, it keeps their neck straight and all that stuff. But to me, it's all about this. It's all about this little piece and your nose and everything not being smushed and your eyes and eyelashes. It is just like you get that yummy, cushy feeling without all that stuff around you. And it's consistent. You're not constantly like flipping the pillow and trying to find a good spot because it's always there. I know I sound silly. This, I am a partner with Sleeping Glow. So let me go ahead and get that out of the way. But even if I wasn't, I would be bragging. This pillow is like one of my favorite things ever, ever. And then another thing I like, I showed you in that last video, is I like to sleep on my stomach. And I like this spot over here, I don't wanna get his dirty, with this part of my face and then see how it's kind of dipped out right there so then you can breathe really good too they come with a silk pillowcase that fits it perfectly and it's just i don't know what else to tell you it's i did tell him that it might take a little while to get used to it because you have to find your comfy spots we're all so different and I remember when I first got mine, I was trying to put this on top of another pillow because the concept to me of just using this one pillow was so weird. But it makes you, you get down a little bit further in the bed and then when you lay on it, I promise you, if you have ordered one, leave down below what you think about it. I mean, not everybody is gonna like everything, but I will bet uh, 85 to 90 percent of you love this pillow anyway that is the first thing I wanted to tell you and then let's see what are my other favorites of the week I know my Amazon candle I you know have all these nice candles that I've been burning and the other day that just something made me want to have that same homey smell because that we have burnt that candle so many times it's the rosemary one from Amazon and I just 
I want to just smell that smell because to me it is just like home and that is just so true. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's been a favorite of the week. Let's go into some Dior. Last week, my friend that I've made at the Dior counter, Jackie, texted me a picture. I will put it up here of the new Dior summer collection. And I was like, when do you work next? Will and I, I drug him out there, went out there, I think on Sunday. And I thought I bought the Dune eyeshadow palette, but she got confused and she thought it was in there and I didn't get it. So I've got to get that next time I go out there. But the eye palettes are just gorgeous, both of them. The only reason I picked Dune is the center color was more wearable. I think in Mirage, which, which was the other palette, the center color was a white. And so that is the palette that I chose. This is the lipstick in the collection. It's called Nude Desert and it is beautiful. Just beautiful. If you are someone that wants a good peachy nude that's not too white and just easy to put on, you will love this. I will swatch it for you. Just glossy. What formula is this? This is the lacquer stick. So it's going to be, let's see, liquefied shine, saturated lip color, weightless wear. It is. It's almost like a, a it's like, I hate to say it's like a gloss. To me, it's just like a glossy lipstick because you still get good coverage on your lips. I got this, the bronzer. This one is Warm Bronze 05. Look at that packaging. Isn't it beautiful? This is the bronzer that I have on, but I do have on another one too that I want to tell you about. This one is not quite dark enough for me. This is the kind that I usually start out with and then I have to go in with a little bit more, but the darker one was a totally different tone. It was, I believe it was like a really, really cool tone. This is a good one if you are a normal bronzer girl and you use it to literally bronze up your face. It's very smooth, pretty. I always love Dior bronzers. I think I get one every year. So I'm not gonna take it back because I like it, but I like it as my first bronzer. Then, oh, and the top is even like cushiony too. It's so pretty. Then what else did I get? I got the Forever Powder Extreme Control um, Perfect Mac Matte Powder Makeup. I've only tried this once and I wasn't crazy about it. So I think I'm going to take this to my mom, but I'm not, this type of powder thing usually does not work for me anyway. I just had to try it and so I'm going to see if my mom likes it. But what I wanted to do is, it seems like I have loved several Dior products. So I was going to show you. They're not anything new, but this mascara. Okay, I have on lots of liner today. I just felt like wearing thick liner today. But I hope that you can see my lashes. I do not have any false lashes on. And the beauty of it is I don't feel like I need them. Now, if I put them on, I think that it would look more glam. But on a day-to-day, -day, I have loved my Revita Lash, which is making my lashes longer and just more lush. Then you know I had my lashes, um, I think I had them tinted and curled or whatever, permed, I can't even remember what that's called, lifted I guess. So that has helped. The only thing is now that they're so long, sometimes the ends, see how I have that, I have deep set eyes and that brow bone right there. Sometimes they hit that bone and it makes it bend or whatever. So I don't know if I'll get that done again because I just don't know if I'm a candidate for it because my eyes are so deep set. But anyway, I've been loving this. I love the Charlotte Tilbury, but this is the one that packs it on the thickest. So this is what I've been loving. And then I love the new Tarte Shape Tape Creamy. And I think if you are someone who has dry skin, mature skin, you will love it but there's just something about this one. It's the Forever Skin Correct in 1.5 N. And I was hooked on this last summer too. So it may be a tone thing with me. I don't know. Maybe I like this color with the foundations I'm wearing now better. I don't know what it is, but I can do a dot of this here and one dot here and kind of, I let it dry for just 
30 seconds or so. Then I just smooth it out with a brush and I love it. So I just wanted to remind you how much I like this. I have this, these have been favorites for a while, but I've just kind of rediscovered them. Okay, this is something that I have used. I've used this a lot in the past, but I just wanted to remind you because I believe it's still available. It is the uh, Rouge Dior 000 Ultra Light. I thought it was ultra white, but it's ultra light 47. This is a, you can see I've used it. This is a kind of like a tool. See how it's white? It will make any lipstick lighter. Let's go with um, my swatch here. So you do that and then, gosh, here, let me just try a little bit right here. See how it just gives that accent to the center or any lipstick that is you like the color but you wish it just had a little bit more pop or I know there are a lot of Charlotte Tilbury ones that I like that I just need them just a little bit lighter. This is so good. I really, I love it and I, I try to clean it off after I use it but sometimes I don't. Okay, so the bronzer I've been loving again and it only makes sense because this is such a summer bronzer is this Tarte. Park Avenue Princess Waterproof Face and Body Bronzer. And I know a lot of you have this because we wore the heck out of it last summer. You can see I've hit pan. This is just such a good bronzer. It's good for your body, but I really like it just to get that really bronzy look. It's very, it does the same thing that the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer would do. It's just maybe a little bit cooler and I just love it. It's one of those that just always makes things better. And this, you guys, I felt so bad when I posted that picture and I said, um, I've got something new from Laura Mercier to show you. I do, and it's fabulous. I love it, I've worn it probably every day this week. I cannot tell you about it until the 30th because that's when it launches. But so many of you got your hopes up and thought that they were bringing the mineral powder back. I wish, believe me, every time the rep contacts me, I mention it. I put it on their Instagram post. I mention it probably every every time they contact me, I mention the mineral powder and how much we miss it. The other day, I was thinking, matter of fact, I think it was after I tried to use this. I was like, okay, that's it. I miss using a mineral powder. So I got out the Tarte. Just didn't, I mean, it was okay, but it just didn't give me that wow feeling. And then I can't remember what other one I tried. It was one that was pressed. Oh, a Bare Minerals pressed, didn't like it. This one, the Bare Minerals Original in Medium Beige 12. I've got it on today over my a light layer of Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny. I really wanted a warm feeling today. So that's what I did. And just this mineral powder is just like magic. And I think it's, you just have to have the loose. I don't know what it is about it. It just the way it buffs in your skin and the way the more you swirl on it, it just gets better and better. So love this. You're going to be seeing this a lot. And this is a great, great way to get your sunscreen for the beach and the pool. It is SPF 15, but whatever you have on under it, I rarely ever just wear these by themselves, but what I was wearing under it, yesterday we went to the pool, had sunscreen in it too. It was the Laura Mercier product. So anyway, love it. And this color, if you're my color, I really like this. Wanted to show you all of my makeup and skincare before I got to clothing city beauty i requested please can i have another clear city lips i use this every morning every night and then my favorite which is san diego so they were nice enough to send me these two lips i do like some of the other ones but these are my favorites i mean like these are the ones that i run out of and then he sent me one of their new products which is the um, let's see, it's the Ultra Firming Dry Oil Neck and Decollete Treatment, Fast Absorbing. I have it on now. I have it on my chest too. I put it on last night. I just got it yesterday and I love it. It's, at first I thought, no way, I'm just not going to be able to 
handle that oil, but it really does dry in fast. It's got a dropper and it, let me read the card because I was thinking, wondering how this worked. So there it is, and it really is like a dry oil. Lightweight for fast absorption without residue, deeply hydrates for a smooth, supple finish. Helps create a lifted look on the neck and decollete. Reduces the appearance of crepey skin. Let's go to the third one. Um, how does the ultra firming oil work? This silky formula absorbs deep into the skin to deliver powerful hydrating ingredients. Essential lipids and phytonutrients help nourish the skin and support a smoother, firmer, more uplifted look on the neck and decollete. So that, I kind of like that they didn't use any, you know, I don't know, deceptive language because I think that's the truth. I think the more you condition, um, moisturize, and pay attention to your neck and decollete, the better that they look. We're working on how they appear, that you are your age. Your skin is your age. You can only make it look better. So I, I have loved it. And, you know, I just remembered, you know, I put the all the powders down my neck and they're not patchy so it shows that it sank in of course i do my skincare and then i ate some boiled eggs this morning so it was a good probably 30 minutes before i started putting my makeup on so thank you to city beauty they have been one of my great loves in the last couple of months bathing suits bikinis and a few little updates to my oliver try on. Thank you guys so much for helping me with that. I am wearing a pair of jeans today, the Tomcat. I love them. I wore them day before yesterday. I love them all day. I was scared to wash them because I was thinking I don't want them to change, but I wanted to so that I could show and tell you guys. I love them so much. I had kept the Riley or the, here, let me get the other ones I'm taking back. Hold on. Okay, the only two pair I kept are these, the Tom, Mother Tomcats, and I had kept the um, Riley High Rise Straight Crop in size 26. And I am going to take these back and see if these Tomcats come in a different color or wash because I love these so much. So, and I would rather, I don't know, when you just love them so much, it's good to just stick with that style. Um, I did take back the two tank tops only because I felt like they were too big because they were like going all over me. So I ended up getting this. I wore it. I've worn it already. I think it's actually inside out because I dried it over a chair, but I got the Anina Bing. Is that Anina? Yeah. Anina Bing tank top in the small and hers is that same concept. I love it. If you follow me on Instagram, I have it on with that strapless bra I was telling you about, and it looked great. It's the Lively bra. And another thing that, since John is helping me so much, and I love it, I'm so appreciative, we did something for those of you that do not like the Like to Know It app. And what this is, is a link in my bio that you can click and what it does is you'll click on that link it'll show my instagram pictures and you can click on the picture and it takes you to the i guess kind of like the like to know it app but the shopping links and that way you can tell exactly what it is and you don't even have to leave the instagram app and you don't have to install the Like to Know It app. It's just kind of like another way that just makes it easier. I got this, love it. And then they didn't have the small in white. So I grabbed this one from LNA. And this one I do not plan to wear, you know, by itself. I just plan to wear it with, you know, like under a jacket or under a vest or something like that. I think it's going to be too thin. I just thought it was cool. I liked the side vents and it's just that perfect length to wear underneath a blazer, like with a suit that might just show a little bit of skin, but not too much. And I've just, I've always liked LNA products. I, you guys know, have lost 30 some pounds since last May and even last summer, I had not lost that much. So I've got a, a whole new body to figure out. 
and I'm trying to figure out if I look best in the high leg bikinis or should I just stick with the ones that kind of just go straight across so I'm dealing with that but for now I've been loving the good American high leg bathing suit so I went to order another one because I like to wash the ones I'm wearing and I want to have another pair for the next day so I ordered these from the good American website they're the same ones but mine are not green on the inside i think they're meant to be reversible so pretty cool so now i've got the green bottom too the reason i wanted the exact same ones is i like to have the same tan lines and it's not you think what's the big deal i don't like it when little pieces of skin like get burnt and stuff i'd rather just have the same tan line at least on the bottom and then i can switch my tops so anyway ordered another pair of these i have really enjoyed them they're very like weighty and sturdy and you know very basic but i've liked it so i ordered another pair of those then i've been ordering some different tops and you guys gave me the best suggestions on instagram i asked you some of your favorite bikini lines and one of you reminded me of venus so i ordered these two tops i wore this one yesterday i'll put a picture right up in here oh my god it is so pretty. I love it. I love it. It is like a monarch butterfly. And with the black bottoms, it was just perfect. So, love it. Look at the straps, how pretty they are. It was just, I loved it. Perfect size and everything. I got the 32, oh, okay, so it's just a D, which is for a 32 double D, 34 D, 36 C. So, that's the one I got from Venus. And then I got this one. And I always take my pads out just because I don't need them and I don't want that extra bulk. But if you do, keep them in there. And then this one is just like a jungly type print. I love how the straps are so cool too. And the beauty of a triangle top to me is that you can move this around so if you're like me and you're small around the rib cage, but you've got boobs, if you get like a large to, to fit your boobs, then sometimes the thing is too big and it spreads them way out. I don't know. It's hard to describe. It just doesn't fit right. So I really like the ones like this. And then this one I ordered from Amazon and it's really pretty too. I love like the gold you know, rings right there. I think that adds a little something to it. It is double ply and I did pull the pads out already. I haven't worn it, but I did try it on just to make sure. And oh, the color is so pretty. And last but not least, this was kind of a gamble. I actually ordered this, the top I have on now and a beach towel. We have misplaced my beach bag. I'm sure it is in the many boxes in our garage from when we moved. So I just, I saw this one on Revolve. I'll put the picture up here and I had to kind of like pre-order it. It'll be coming soon. And I ordered this top, which is a, I'll go ahead and stand up, a um, Norma Kamali tank. And what I like about it is the shearing on the side. And I like that it is crop but not see how it gives you just that little bitty bit of skin so you're you have that look but it's not you know just over the top so let me go ahead and do my outfit when i wore these um day before yesterday i wore my other just the plain stretch bottegas so today i thought i would wear these i love bottegas are my favorite new favorite brand so i love i just love the way these jeans fit like right through here they kind of give you that hanging look, but they're not, they just still don't look too big. They still look like they fit me. And just a simple look, love the shoes. They're so comfy. And the top you can see just gives you that little bit of look. And then I will probably, because the high is only 60 something today, will throw on just my oversized blazer and this will be the look of the day. Okay, and then just to finish up, this is the other thing that I ordered from Revolve. And I've always looked at the L Space swimwear, and so I decided to order their, you know, best-selling top and one that was really basic, and when I got it yesterday, I was like, oh, this is so nice. I'm gonna probably have to order some more stuff. 
Look at how pretty this is. It almost looks like a fancy bra. Matter of fact, look at the hardware even, how pretty the gold hardware is on this. The netting, I mean, it is gorgeous. You could absolutely wear this. If you've got the body, you should wear this underneath a blazer. It is just beautiful. I mean, it's just one of the prettiest bathing suits ever. And it's gonna be very sexy. And I might be kind of boobylicious for it, but I'm gonna wear it. I know I can't wear a large and I can't, I got a medium, so. It was not cheap, it was $99. I don't know if it was on sale, I don't know. But it is just, it's nice. I really like it and I'm gonna give it a try soon. And last but not least, I just got these today, I'm so excited. Last Sunday when I was at my parents, when they are watching TV or when my mom's looking through a magazine or anything, if they see something they think I should have or would look good on me, they always tell me. Last week, my mom came and sat down and she had looked up, you know, some pictures and she said the other day, a girl had these on and they look so good, I think you need to get some. So I found them on the Saks Off Fifth website. And it is these Prada cat eye sunglasses. I think Prada does cat eyes the best. I've had several pairs of Prada cat eye sunglasses. And so they just came today and I think that they are fabulous. Look how pretty they are, look at the gold. And I love them. I have not even adjusted them to, you know, my face or anything, but they're just perfect. And they were regularly, I don't even know how much, and I think I got them for 150 or something like that. It is just amazing that how what great deals you can get on Saks Off Fifth and Nordstrom Rack. And it's, to me, it's kind of sad because, you know, their stores have been through so much with the pandemic that, you know, they get things. If it doesn't sell, they've got to move it to their, you know, discount, you know, stores or their discount websites so it's good for us and it helps them too in the long run love these thank you mama i love them and i'm going to wear them today hey for accessories i've got on my michelle watch i am in the market for a two-tone watch i have a couple that i'm watching but it's you know when you're spending a little bit more money you have to think about it so soon i will have a two-tone watch probably I did apply my nails this morning. I missed them. And my ring is the Lone Wolf ring from Erin Fader. It's one of my favorites. I think it reminds me of, it reminds me of my granddaddy for some reason. And what I'm thinking is, I think he had a diamond ring, like had one diamond in it and it had like a square setting like that. I think that's what it is. And oh, earrings. I put on my little, these are the Dean Davidson Onyx. I don't know the exact name, but I will put them down below, but I think they're cool. And my ears are doing good. Everything's good. And my house, you guys, oh my gosh, so exciting. I will have to do a video soon. Maybe I'll wait for a few more things. They have been working hard on the trim. I picked like the fanciest trim because I have always loved fancy trim work so they've been working on that but they put the stairs in all of the tile and it has been such a fabulous thing when we go there those workers work all day when they eat lunch the, the little family that did our tile when they ate lunch they just went and sat in the van and ate lunch they didn't go take a two-hour lunch and every time we go, they are so proud of their work. They are so nice. They act so happy to be there. It has just been so rewarding to interact with them. And most of them speak Spanish. I don't really know a lot of Spanish. I took German in high school, but you know, just they can communicate just enough. And I have loved it. We have just thoroughly enjoyed every part of the experience. And I can't wait to share everything with you. And thank you for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.